we will be performing the Tadvachamanam, the ritualistic cleansing. Now take, keep your hand, the right hand, in the shape of a cow's ear in the Gokarana Mudra, as our Acharyas are demonstrating. Then take an Udani of water, pour it into your right palm. We're going to chant a mantra thrice. Each time, sip the water from the bottom of your palm whenever the word Swadha is chanted. Om Atma Tattvam Shodhayami Swadham. Take another Udani of water. Om Vidya Tattvam Shodhayami Swadham. Another Udani of water into your palm. Om Shivadatvam Shodhayami Swadham. Now wash your right hand with the water from the Panchapacham and wipe your lips twice with the bottom of your thumb as we chant. Om Ham Hridaya Yenamaham. Now wash your hand again. With the index, middle, and ring fingers joined together, touch above the upper lip and below the lower lip. Wash your hand again. With the index fingers and thumbs joined together, touch the right nostril, the left nostril, and with the right finger, uh, ring finger and thumb joined together, touch the right eye, left eye, and the right ear and the left ear. Wash your hand again. With the little finger and thumb joined together, touch the navel, the right chest and the left chest. And with all fingertips joined together, touch on top of the head, the right shoulder, left shoulder, and your heart center. Now wash your hand again. As you clasp the right hand over top of the left, place both hands on the right thigh. Set the Sankalpa, the conscious resolution, what it is that you want to manifest today in today's Nityananda Yoga session as we chant the Sankalpa Mantra. Om Mamopata Samasta Durida Krayadwara Bhagavad Shri Nityananda Paramashiva Pritiyartham Shri Nityananda Shri Paramashiva Shakti Sameta Shri Nityananda Shri Paramashiva Pritiyartham Cha Adya Pur Bhokta Evam Guna Visheshena Vishishtayam Asyam Shubhadito Purana Arogya Yukta Dhridagatra Yogi Kasharira Siddhyartham Paramashiva Shakti Aviskaranartham Nityananda Yoga Abhyasam Karishye Now wash your hand once more as we chant Om Apaupas Prishya Keep your Panchapacham and Udani out of harm's way as we are getting ready to start the yoga. Now sit in a comfortable cross-leg position with your head, neck and spine in a straight line. Bring the index fingers and thumbs joined together on top of the knees in Bindu Mudra. Engage the three bandhas, the energy locks, which are contracting the perineal region and pulling it in and up. The Udhyana Bandha, the stomach lock, contracting your stomach muscles and pulling your stomach in and up towards your spine. And the Jalandra Bandha, the throat lock, tucking your chin to the chest and internally contracting your throat muscles. Together they form Mahamudra Bandha, which is a great secret of the yogic practice and will enhance your yoga practice manifold. Next up is the visualization. Hold the visualization for the right context of each of the asanas. The first visualization is Lord Shiva. You will always be able to see the visualization in the top right corner of the screen. So whenever you don't know how the visualization looks, you can just check the screen. Next up is Samana Kumbhaka. Now fill your stomach with dana as you meditate on a flame in your stomach, kindling the prana and raising up your spine. Chant the Japa Soham and visualize it rotating around your throat until the nectar oozes out into your body. Let us now perform the first asana, which is Sukhasana. Tat Sukhasana mit yukta mashaktas tat samacharet asanam vijitam yena jitam tena jagatrayam. We request all the participants to please switch your cameras on and join us in the yoga session.
The next asana is Parvatasana. Now bring your legs into Padmasana with the feet on top of the opposite thighs. Then bring your palms together in Anjani Mudra and raise them up above your head, keeping your elbows straight. Engage all three wonders, Mahamudra Banda, as you visualize yourself as Mount Kailash. Adhavakshe Mahadeva Parvatasana Mangalam The next asana is Hali Pavasana. Now bring it, the soles of your feet together in front of your body and hold the left hand by the right behind your back. As you lean forward and place your forehead on the ground behind your heels. Engage all the wonders as you gaze at the nose and visualize Swamiji in your inner space. The next asana is Nagi Pavasana. Now keep the soles of your feet together and stretch your hands out in front of the feet, cupping your palms, placing them down on the ground as you place your forehead on the ground behind your heels. Engage all the wonders and gaze to the tip of your nose, visualizing yourself as a snake. Next up is Kokilasana. Now hold the big toes with the index and middle fingers in Prana Mudra. Then raise the legs up straight and then cross them into Padmasana, leaning forward and down onto your elbows. Engage all as you visualize yourself as a bird. The next asana is Neti Asana. Now place one ankle on top of the opposite knee as you hold onto the opposite elbows. Engage all the wonders, rotate your arms in a circle and gaze to the nose, visualizing Swamiji in your inner space and after some time change the direction of the movement. The next asana is Gajasana. Now press your hands onto the ground, lifting your hips up high. Lower your head, then your chest, scooping the body forward and down again and again as you visualize yourself as an elephant and perform Udhyana Bandha the stomach lock, and Mulavanda, the root lock, as you do so. The next asana is Rikshasana. From the same position. Alternate pressing the heel of one foot into the ground while lifting the other heel up. Visualize yourself as a bear. As you keep Udhyana Bandha and Mula Bandha engaged. The next asana is Vaishyasana. Now stand tall on the mat with the tips of the on, on the tips of the big toes, with all other toes raised off the ground. As you keep your head, neck, and spine in a straight line and bring your index, middle, and ring fingers to the heart center in Hridaya Mudra. Visualize Swamiji in your inner space and perform Ujjana Vanda and Mula Vanda. Next up is the Urdhva Janu Karana. Stand with your heels touching, toes facing outwards at a 45 degree angle and the knees bend in Arimandi. Now, Bring both hands to the chest with the elbows parallel to the ground. Then lift one knee up towards the center of your body, followed along with the respective hand as you make circular motions on both sides again and again. The next asana is Bala Linga Asana. Now interlace your fingers from the outside in in Sarpashankari Mudra and hold on to one knee, pulling it up towards your chest. Keep your head, neck and spine in a straight line 
and visualize yourself holding a baby as you engage all three wonders, Mahamudra Vandha. Ekam Janurasiya Lingya Sadhavyam Balalinganam Bhavati You move on to Padapitanasana. Now take the foot and pull it behind towards your buttocks. Hold it with both hands. Be straight. Engage all three wonders as you visualize Swamiji in your inner space. The next asana is Nasarajasana. Standing on one leg, hold on to one foot and extend it backwards as you lean forward and stretch your arm out in front in Bindu Mudra with the index finger and thumb touching as you visualize yourself dancing as Lord Nataraja and perform the Mula Vandha. Now stand on the other leg and repeat Balalingasana on the other side, pulling the knee up towards your chest and visualize yourself caressing a baby. Now repeat Parapitanasana on the other side, pull the other foot towards your buttocks. And visualize Swamiji in your inner space, engaging all three wonders. Now repeat Natarajasana on the other side, visualizing yourself as Lord Nataraja. Next up is the Arta Rechita Karana. From Arimandi position, bring the right foot behind the other with the toes down and the heel up. Keep the left hand at the chest and swing the right arm back and forth, gracefully moving the fingers one by one. Now keep the right hand over top of the nose, uncross your ankles and repeat the movement on the other side. Next up is the skeleton dance. Now visualize yourself as a skeleton as you shake your body intensely. We move on to Katit Chinakarana. From Arimandi, with the heels together, toes pointing outwards and the knees bent, bring your hands above your head with the arms crossed, palms facing backwards. Now open your hips to one side and open the arms along above your head. Return to the center and repeat the movement on both sides again and again. The next asana is Tadasana. Now stand tall on the tips of the big toes as you raise your hands up above your head beside your ears. Engage all three wonders. Visualize yourself as a palm tree as you internally chant the new Japa Shivoham. Next up is Uttanasana. From a standing position, lean forward and down, bringing your hands flat to the ground. Take precaution in the case that you are a pregnant woman, for pregnant women shouldn't perform any of the forward bends. Now engage all the wonders and bring your forehead towards the knees as you visualize Swamiji in your inner space. Maha mudra baddha kono tadasana vibheda kan. The next asana is Tadakshvasana, the plank position. Now lower your body down onto your arms and feet as you tuck your chin to the chest and rotate your head from side to side, contracting your perineal region. Visualize Swamiji in your inner space. Keep breathing in the Samana Kumbhaka, filling your stomach with prana and visualizing a flame rising up your spine. 
The next asana is Bhujangasana. Now lower your entire body down onto your stomach as you keep the toes pointing backwards and your hands next to the chest. Now raise your head up using the strength of your lower back. Don't lift your body any higher than your belly button up. And open your mouth wide as you inhale through the hollow of your throat in Bhujangani Mudra. Visualize yourself as a cobra as you perform the Mula Vandha. Many known faces have joined again. Wesley Silva, Alex Dutch, Kailasa Hyderabad. Nice to see you all. The next asana is Shashasana. Now push your body up back into the plank position and alternate bringing one knee in towards your chest back and forth as you visualize Swamiji in your inner space and calmly breathe through your nose in Sahaja Kumbhaka. The next asana is Ratasana. From a tall plank position, place one foot in between the two hands as you simultaneously jump one foot back and bring the other one in between the hands. Alternate again and again as you visualize yourself as a chariot. The next asana is Vidavatrasana. Now keep one foot flat on the ground with the toes pointing forwards and the knee bend at a 90 degree angle. Now extend the other leg back, keep the knee straight and the toes pointed outwards. Raise your arms up parallel, pull the stomach in and up and gaze to your third eye, visualizing yourself as Lord Vidavatra. As you perform Ujjana Vanda and Mula Vanda. Now exchange the position of your feet and repeat Viravatasana on the other side. To request all the participants to please arrange your cameras so you are visible on your camera. Don't just turn them on. Make sure the room is lit properly and you are visible on camera. Thank you. The next asana is Vrikshasana, the tree posture. Now stand and bring one foot to the inner thigh as you bring your palms together in Anjali Mudra and raise them up above your head. Keep your elbows straight as you gaze forward and visualize yourself as a tree. The next asana is Garudasana. Now bring the raised leg to the opposite hip. Join your hands in Namaskara Mudra in front of your heart center as you visualize yourself as Lord Garuda and engage the Mula Vandha. Now stand on your other leg and repeat Vrikshasana on the other side. Now repeat Garudasana on the other side, keeping the standing leg as straight as a rod and visualizing yourself as Lord Garuda. The next asana is Trikonasana. Now stand and step one leg forward and the other one far back, keeping the front toes pointing forwards and the back toes facing sideways. Now bring your hands parallel to the ground and lean forward and down as you keep one hand down and the other one raised up. Gaze upwards, visualizing yourself as a triangle as you perform the Mula Vandha. Exchange the position of your feet. Step the other leg forward as you repeat Trikurnasana on the other side. 
उत्तान बालम क्रोचम च मरीचि वीरभद्रक Next up is the Nikutta Kakarana from Ali Mandi position. Heels touching toes, pointing outwards, and the knees bend. Raise one heel off the ground and bring your hands in front of the heart center with the palms facing each other. Now stump the raised heel to the ground. Raise the other heel up and exchange the position of your hands again and again. The next asana is Angushtasana. Now lower your body down onto the tips of your toes, placing the perineum on the back of your heels. Raise your knees off the ground and keep them together as you join your palms in front of your heart center in Namaskara Mudra. Visualize Swamiji in your inner space as you breathe in Brahmari Kumbhaka, buzzing like a bee on the inhalation and exhalation as you perform the Mula Vanda and internally chant the new Japa Sada Shivoham. The next asana is Saurasana. From the tips of the toes, extend one leg straight out with the heel down and the toes up. Keep your fingers down on the ground by the sides with the palms facing forward in Vada Mudra. Visualize Swamiji in your inner space as you perform the Mula Bandha. The next asana is Virunanasana. Now, from Saurasana, lean forward and hold on to the big toe in Prana Mudra. As you hold the back heel with the other hand, balance. Visualize Swamiji in your inner space and perform the Mula Bandha. Now, exchange the position of your feet. Stretch the other leg forward. As you repeat, Saurasana on the other side. Now again, lean forward and down, holding on to the front foot and the back heel, repeating Vitunanasana on the other side. The next asana is Brahmadurankushasana. As you keep the toes on the ground and the perineum placed on top of the heels, which I raise off the ground, keep a gap between your legs and place the back of your hands on top of the respective knees. Contract the perineal region and tuck your chin to the chest as you gaze in between the two hands in Shambhavi Mudra, with eyes opened wide, unblinking, actually gazing within. As you visualize Swamiji within, and perform the Jalandra Vanda and Mula Vanda. The next asana is Kapilasana. Now drop your knees to the ground with the toes stuck behind, sitting your perineum on the heels. As you keep your hands on top of the respective thighs and pull your stomach in and up, contract the perineal region Gaze to the tip of the nose and visualize yourself as sage Kapilamuni. The next asana is Bhadragura Kasana. Maintain the same position as you shift your gaze up to the third eye. Visualize Swamiji in your inner space as you buzz like a bee in Brahmari Kumbhaka. The next asana is Suryasana. Now sit with your toes tucked, perineum placed on top of the raised heels as you bring your thumbs and little fingers together in Padma Mudra, opening up the palms resembling a lotus flower. Now raise your hands up above your head as you gaze up in between the gap between the palms, 
visualizing yourself as Lord Surya. एडी लोग उदातरी आने भना पानी बैठ कब निठाने The next asana is Mandukasana. Now sit with the toes flat, perineum on the heels. As you keep your hands on top of the knees, lift the tongue up against the roof of your mouth. As you catch the nectar of immortality dripping from the Sasarada chakra with your frog tongue, as you visualize yourself as a frog in Manduki Mudra. Gaze to your third eye, breathe calmly through your nose in Sahaja Kumbhaka as you perform the Mula Vandha. The next asana is Uttana Mandukasana. Maintain the same sitting posture, but bring your hands behind your back, holding onto the opposite shoulders. Gaze to your third eye, visualize yourself as a frog as you keep your tongue pressed against the pellet of your mouth in Manduki Mudra. Perform Udhyana Vanda and Mula Vanda as you do so. Manduka Asana Madhyastam Kurpara Abhyandritam Shiraha. The next asana is Simhasana. Now cross your ankles and sit on your feet. As you keep the knees wide, fingers spread on top of the knees, open your mouth wide, stick out your tongue and exhale forcefully. As you gaze at the tip of your nose and visualize yourself as a lion. Dakshinam Sabhyagulphena Dakshinena Tatetaram The next asana is Bhadrasana. Now sit with the heels under the perineum, the knees open wide, then cross your hands behind your back and hold onto the big toes in Prana Mudra. As you gaze at the tip of your nose, visualize Swamiji in your inner space and return to buzzing like a bee in Brahmari Kumbhaka. The next asana is Kakapusandi asana. Now squat and keep the feet flat on the ground as you keep your knees open wide and bring your arms in and around the raised knees. Interlace your fingers behind your back, if you can, as you visualize yourself as a crow and gaze to the tip of your nose as you engage the Mula Vandha. The next asana is Kanipavasana. Now keep the palms on the floor, shoulder width apart. Bring your knees under the back of your arms towards your armpits. Lean forward, raise your feet off the ground as you visualize Swamiji in your inner space and balance on your arms. The next asana is Kapali asana. Now place your hands on the ground, shoulder width apart. Bring the top of your head onto the ground. Please take precautions if you have any neck injuries or high blood pressure. Any of the inverted postures. Now bring your knees onto the elbows, your hips over the shoulders and straighten your legs up as you gaze to the nose and visualize Swamiji in your inner space. The next asana is Parshvamayurasana. Now squat on the toes with the legs together. Twist your body and place both hands to the side as you align your elbows with the knee and hip and lean onto your arms, balance, extending your legs to the side. Gaze to your third eye as you visualize yourself as a peacock and exhale fully in Rechaka Kumbhaka as you hold your breath in the exhaled state. Perform the Mula Bandha as you do so. Mayoram Dandavat Kuryan Mayoram Danda Namakam now, twist your body in the other direction 
and repeat Parashramayurasana on the other side. The next asana is Bhairaganathasana. Now place both hands on the ground, shoulder width apart. Stretch your legs back straight into Tadakshvasana, the plank position. As you step one foot outside the respective shoulder and bring it in between the two hands, gaze to your third eye, visualize yourself as Lord Kala Vaidava. As you breathe in your Richaka Kumbhaka and perform the Mula Vanda. Now step the front foot back and step the other foot outside the shoulder in between the hands. Gaze to your third eye in Shambhavi Mudra with the eyes open wide unblinking as you visualize yourself as Lord Kala Bhairava. The next asana is Unmukha Pitasana. From Tadakshvasana, the plank position, bring your forearms down on the ground. As you walk your feet forward, raising your hips, lift your chest and head up and gaze to your third eye, visualizing Swamiji in your inner space. The next asana is Vashishtasana. From Tadakshvasana, rotate your body onto one hand and raise the opposite hand up. Keep the balancing hand directly beneath the shoulder as you raise your hips and gaze up towards the sky, visualizing yourself as Sage Vashishta as you perform the Mula Vandha. <laughs> Now twist your body in the other direction. Balance on the other hand as you repeat Vashishtasana. Now come to a seated position and extend your legs out in front with the heel down and the toes pointing up. Now bring your hands under the buttocks with the palms facing up. Keep your spine straight, elbows close to your body, tuck your chin to the chest, contract the perineal region. As you gaze through the nose, visualize yourself as Lord Hanuman and internally chant the new Japa Maha Sada Shivoham. Next up is Paschimatanasana. Now visualize Swamiji in your inner space as you lean forward and down, holding onto the big toes in Prana Mudra. Perform Mahamudra Bandha, all three bandhas engaged, and exhale all the air from your lungs in the Chaka Kumbhaka. The next asana is Ugrasana. With your legs straight, interlace your fingers behind your neck, lean your chest forward and down, bringing your head to the knees by the strength of your core. Engage all three bandhas as you visualize Kali in your inner space. The next asana is Marichi asana. Now, sit with the legs extended, bring one heel to the groin with the knee raised, and reach your arm in and around the raised knee as you clasp your hands behind your back. Bring your chest to the thighs, head to the knee, and visualize yourself as Sage Marichi. I'll drop the knee down to the ground and lean forward, holding on to the front foot with both hands. As you exhale all the air from your lungs, gaze to the nose, visualize Swamiji and perform Mahamudra Bandha in Mahamudrasana. Mudra 
Now extend the other leg out. Bring the other heel towards the perineum with the knee raised. As you lean forward and interlace your fingers behind your back. In Marici Asana on the other side. Now drop the knee down, lean forward, hold onto the foot, engage all the wonders, repeating Mahamudrasana on the other side. The next asana is Bhadrasana 2. As you sit and bring the soles of the feet together with your heels close to the perineum, keep your knees wide. Hold your feet firmly with both hands and maintain a strained sp straight spine as you gaze through the nose and visualize Swamiji in your inner space. The next asana is Gvali Pavasana. From Badrasana, extend your feet away from your body. Keep the toes together, heels apart, knees wide open. As you place your hands on the respective knees, tuck your chin to the chest and gaze to the nose. Visualize Swamiji in your inner space. Perform the Jalandra Bandha and Mula Vandha. The next asana is Jogi Asana. Now sit, keep the soles of the feet together and the heels close to your perineum as you visualize the yoni mandala which is projected on the screen. Now hold the soles of the feet as you lean forward and down and bring the forehead to the feet as you gaze at the nose and perform the mudra vandha. <laughs> The next asana is Mideki Pavasana. As you sit and keep the heels together, toes apart and the knees wide, lean forward and down and extend your hands out to the side. Keep the palms facing down on the ground to the sides as you bring your forehead to the ground behind your heels. Gaze to your nose, visualize Swamiji and perform the Mula Vandha. <laughs> Next up is Siddha Samadhi Asana. Now sit and keep the toes together, heels apart. As you bring your arms below the shins, extend them out to the sides and keep the palms facing up. Bring your forehead to the ground above your feet as you bring your toes near your throat if you can. Gaze to the tip of your nose, visualize Lord Surya in your inner space and perform the Mula Vandha. <laughs> Next up is Shinaki Pavasana. Now sit and keep the heels together, toes apart, as you hold the feet and open them up like a book, bringing the backs of your hands onto the ground and the elbows pressing down on the thighs. Gaze at the nose and visualize Swamiji in your inner space. <laughs> the next asana is Charapata Chukasana. Sit and bring the soles of the feet together with the heels at your perineum. Open the knees and place your hands on top of the knees as you gently press them down. Pull your stomach in and up, gaze to your third eye as you visualize Swamiji in your inner space. <laughs> The next asana is Pairavasana. Now sit and bring the soles of the feet together with your knees open wide. Lift the heels up and bring the toes down onto the ground. As you keep your knees on the ground, pull your stomach in and up and place your hands on the knees in Bindu Mudra. Gaze to your third eye as you visualize yourself as Lord Kala Vairava. <laughs> The next asana is Samanasana. Now sit with one heel at the perineum, 
Lift and hold the other foot, pulling the sole of the foot to your chest. Gaze to your third eye as you perform the Mula Vanda and visualize Swamiji in your inner space. Samana Asana Ma Bhakshe Siddha Mantra Di Sadhana Te The next asana is Apanasana. As you sit, place one leg on top of the respective shoulder and raise the other foot upwards and straight. Keep the hands on the ground to the sides as you gaze to your third eye and visualize Swamiji in your inner space. Now repeat Samanasana on the other side. Bring the other heel towards your perineum. And pull the opposite foot towards your chest. Now repeat Apanasana on the other side. Bring the other leg over top of the respective shoulder, extending the opposite leg forward and up. Next up is Gomukhasana. Now sit and cross one leg over the other, aligning the knees at the center of your body with the feet by the opposite hips. Place both hands on top of the stacked knees as you gaze to the nose, visualize the face of a cow, and perform the Mula Bandha. Start breathing in Siddhkari Kumbhaka, pressing your tongue against the palate of your mouth without touching the teeth and hissing through your teeth while inhaling. Internally chant the new Japa Om Nityanandoham. The next asana is Anasuyasana. Now maintain the same posture. Hold on to the big toes of the feet in Prana Mudra as you gaze to the tip of your nose and visualize yourself as Adishika Anasuya. Engage Udhyana Vanda and Mula Vanda. Maintain the same position. Interlace your fingers behind your back and lean forward and down as you bring your chin over the knees, the nose towards the ground, and visualize yourself as Rishika Anasuya in Anasuyasana too. The next asana is Garudasana too. Now sit on the ground with one heel pressed against the perineum. As you keep the opposite foot flat on the ground with the knee raised to your chest. Keep the hands on the respective knee. As you visualize yourself as Lord Garuda, gaze to the nose and perform the Mula Bandha. The next asana is not a dasana. Now, sit and place your perineum on top of one heel as you interlace your fingers behind your neck and twist your elbows outside of the raised knee. Gaze to your third eye and visualize yourself as such Narada as you perform the Mula Bandha. <laughs> Next up is Matsya Pitakasana. Now place one foot on top of the opposite thigh. Wrap the respective arm around the knee, holding onto the opposite chin as you hold the big toes with the other hand in Prana Mudra. Visualize yourself as Matsya, the fish avatar of Lord Vishnu, as you perform the Mula Vandha. <laughs> Now slide your knees over top with the other knee on top, repeating the Gomukhasana position on the other side. 
Gaze to the nose and visualize the face of a cow as you keep hissing through your teeth without the tongue touching your teeth. Instead, Kari Kumbhaka. Sarvye Dakshina Gulpamtu Prishta Bhasheni Yoda Yeta Next up is Anasuyasana on the other side. Hold onto the big toes as you visualize yourself as Rishika Anasuya. Now, from the same position, interlace your fingers behind your back and lean forward and down, chin over the knees, nose towards the ground, in Anasuyasana too. Jimana Goda Gisandhi, Upedadava Goda Gisandhi. Now, repeat Garudasana too on the other side. Bringing the other heel towards the perineum, knee raised, hands on the knees, as you visualize yourself as Lord Garuda. Next up is Narodasana. On the other side, raise the perineum onto the heel, interlace your fingers behind your neck, and twist your elbows outside of the raised knee, visualizing yourself as Sage Narada. Next up is Matsya Pitakasana on the other side. Now place the other foot on top of the opposite thigh. Hold on to the shin and the big toe of that foot as you visualize Matsya, the fish avatar of Vishnu. Next up is Matsyandrasana. Now place one foot on top of the opposite thighs. As you place the opposite foot on the ground, flat. Twist and bring the elbow outside of the raised knee. Keep your raised arm by the neck. Turn your head back and gaze to your third eye. Visualizing Matsyandrasana, the great sage and master of Hatha Yuga. Udaram Bhaschima Bhasam Gritvadishtani Yatnataha The next asana is Kubasana. From Matsyandrasana, twist and bring your elbow outside of the raised knee as you extend your hand down to the foot, keeping the opposite hand at the respective ear. Twist your body back, gaze back and up towards your third eye, visualizing yourself as a camel. Asana Koguna Dholo Jaye. Next up is Matsyandrasana 2. Keeping the hand extended down towards the foot, place your hand behind your body onto the ground as you gaze up to your third eye and visualize Matsyandrasana. Now repeat Matsyandrasana on the other side. Extend the other leg out. Bring the opposite foot onto the thigh as you twist your elbow outside of the waist knee and gaze back. The next asana is Kubasana on the other side. Now hold on to the front big toe and plan of mudra as you keep the other hand towards the respective ear, gazing back and up towards your third eye and visualizing yourself as a camel. Put the hand to the ground behind you, twist your body even further as you visualize Matsyandranath in Matsyandrasana too.
मत्स्येन्द्रपीडम दिलर प्रदीप दिमृतंड रुक्मंडल खंडनास्त्र The next asana is Padmasana. Now place your feet on top of the opposite thighs as you keep your palms flat on the respective knees. Engage all three bandhas, Mahamudra bandha, as you gaze at the tip of your nose. Visualize yourself as Lord Shiva. Breathe in Sitali Kumbhaka, now pressing your tongue against the back of the teeth, hissing while inhaling as you internally chant The new japa om nityananda mahasada shivoham asanam dvidham proktam padma vajrasanam tatha the next asana is padmasana 2 as you sit and as you sit in padmasana cross your hands in front of your body and hold on to the big toes in prana mudra gaze to the nose visualize yourself as god is parvati the consort of shiva as you perform the mula vandha The next asana is Kukkutasana. Now sitting in Padmasana, place your hands on the ground between the two thighs as you lift your body up off the ground. Visualize yourself as a rooster as you breathe calmly in Sahaja Kumbhaka and perform the Mula Vandha. The next asana is Badha Kiki Asana. From Padmasana, raise up onto the knees as you bring your hands flat on the ground with the fingers pointing backwards. Keep the elbows together, press them against the navel. and then lean forward find balance and extend your knees up off the ground visualize swami ji in your inner space as you perform the mula vandha dharma vastabhy karadai natat korbai sthapitana bhi parshva The next asana is Mayurasana. While on your knees, place your palms on the ground with the fingers pointing backwards. Keep your elbows at the navel, lean back, lean forward, find balance and extend your legs up off the ground, visualizing yourself as a peacock as you perform the Sahaja Kumbhaka and engage the Mula Bandha. Atavakshe Mahadeva Mayurasana Muttamam Next up is Makarasana. Lay down on your stomach with the feet pointing outwards and the forehead on the mat. Interlace your fingers behind your neck. As you visualize yourself as a crocodile and perform the Mula Vandha. Adhyasa Shete Hridayam Udha Jaya Bhumo Jabata Udha Prasad Yamano As you lay on your stomach, place your hands on the ground beside your chest. Raise your legs up, bring the thighs off the ground, visualizing yourself as a locust. In Chalabhasana. Adhyasa Shete Kara Yugma Vaksho Bhumi Ma Vashta Bhikara Yostala Abhyam. The next asana is Ushtrasana. As you lay on your stomach, bring your hands to the feet. Put the feet down towards the ground outside of your hips. as you visualize yourself as a camel and perform the mula vandha adhyasa shete pad yugma vyastam prashte nidhaya vidhritam karabhyam the next asana is dhanurasana from ushtrasana tighten the grip on your feet and kick the legs back and up as you lean forward and lift your chest off the ground Gaze up to your third eye and visualize yourself as Pinaka, Lord Shiva's bow. Perform the Mula Vandha as you do so.
The next asana is Bhagasana. Now come to a kneeling position. With your feet flat on the ground, sitting in between the two heels. Place your hands on top of the knees. Visualize Swamiji in your inner space. Breathe calmly through your nose in Sahaja Kumbhaka. As you gaze to your third eye, contract the perineal region in Mula Bandha and internally chant Om Nityananda Paramashivoham. Ulta Mori Pauta Vaise Bahura Jagadevare Kaise. The next asana is Gohi Asana. From the kneeling position, place your elbows on the ground, shoulder width apart. As you interlace your fingers, bring your head towards the ground and hold it with your hands. Now raise your hips up, walk your feet forward until your hips align with your shoulders, and then raise your legs up off the ground and pull the knees close to your chest. Try to touch your chin with the knees as you roll your body up in the inverted posture. Gaze to the nose and visualize Swamiji in your inner space. Now, from Gohi Asana, extend your legs up straight into Shir Shasana. Gaze to the nose and visualize Swamiji in your inner space as you perform the Mula Vanda. Gently lower your body down and come to a seated posture. Now sit with your hands behind your calves and stretch your legs up. Bring your forehead to the knees as you come to a vertical position with your legs. Visualize Swamiji in your inner space and perform the Bastika Kumbhaka, rapidly exhaling from your diaphragm, pushing the air out without inhaling like the bellows of a blacksmith. We're going to perform Bastika Kumbhaka for the next few asanas. So keep your core engaged and rapidly breathe through your nose. The next asana is Parikhasana. Now sit and extend your legs out and up at a 45 degree angle. Bring your hands behind. Hold the opposite shoulders as you keep the chest upright, legs straight, toes pointed. Gaze to your third eye as you... Visualize yourself as a maze. Keep breathing rapidly as you sit and ex extend your legs out and up at a 45 degree angle. Keep your arms parallel to the ground or bring them down to the ground. As you gaze to your third eye and visualize yourself as a boat in Naukasana. Where say Silva is even utilizing the weights as he's performing those asanas. Next up is Rudrasana. Now sit and lift your feet up. Scoop your hands under the heels and pull the feet towards your chest. Keep your spine upright, gaze to the nose. As you visualize yourself as Lord Rudra, perform the Mula Vanda as you do so. The next asana is Unmukha Pitasana too. Now lay down on your back with the feet flat on the ground, the knees raised up. Bring your palms down to the ground with the fingers just touching the back of your heels. Lift your hips up high, press the feet into the ground as you tuck your chin to the chest, gaze to the nose and visualize Swamiji in your inner space. Now lower your body down flat onto the ground. Keep the palms facing up next to your hips. As you contract the perineal region and forcefully pull the Kundalini Shakti up along your spine towards your Sahasrara Chakra in Shakti Chalan Mudra. Relax. 
completely unclutched from any micro movements of the body and mind. As you visualize that your body is dead and the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Swamiji, is liberating you. Internally chant the Mahavakya, Om Nityananda Paramashivoham. Uttanam Shavavad Bhubau Sajanam to Shavasanam Shavasanam Shranti Haram Chitta Vishranti Karakam Now slowly return to your physical body. Start to wiggle your fingers and toes, your wrists and your ankles, your elbows and your knees. Pull your knees up towards your chest and rock your body from side to side as you return to a comfortable seated position. Congratulations, you completed the first 108 asanas of the sequence, which are the Pratama Vinyasa Klama. We are now going to continue the sequence with the next asana, which is Yatasana Shtasana. Now sit in a posture that brings ease to your physical and mental space. Bring your hands on top of the knees in Bindu Mudra. Visualize Swamiji in your inner space. Breathe in Samana Kumbhaka, filling your stomach with prana and meditating on the flame kindling in your stomach. As you perform the Mula Vanda and internally chant the Mahavakya, Om Nityananda Paramashivoham. Pariyankam Tat Samakhyatam Yatasamstam Yathastitihi Next up is Samasana. Now, sit in a cross-legged position. Keep your hands on the knees with the thumbs and index fingers touching. Take a 
long, deep inhalation and hold your breath. After exhaling, breathe deeply in and out, visualizing Swamiji and performing the Mula Vandha. Next up is Muktasana. Now place the left foot against the gentle region and place the right foot over top of the left. Keep your hands facing down on top of the knees. Gaze through your nose as you visualize yourself as a sage liberated by the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism in Muktasana. Next up is Siddhasana. Maintain the same position as Muktasana. As you switch your gaze to your third eye, visualize Swamiji in your inner space and perform the Mula Bandha. The next asana is Siddhi Asana. Now maintain the same position as in Siddhasana. Switch your gaze to the ground in front of you as you engage all the wonders and visualize Swamiji in your inner space. The next asana is Rudrasana too. Keep your legs in the same position as the asana. Rotate your hands on top of the knees into Bindu Mudra. Switch your gaze to the third eye. Visualize yourself as Lord Rudra as you perform the Mula Bandha. Next up is Santa Dunasana. Now maintain the same position. Switch your gaze to the nose and embody tranquility and an unshakable nature. Next up is Siddhasana too. Maintain one heel on top of the other as you bring your hands to the navel, cupping your palms over the other, resembling a lotus flower in Samputa Mudra as you visualize Swamiji in your inner space and perform the Mula Vandha. The next asana is Bandha Yoni Asana. In this asana, we are going to perform the Shanmukhi Mudra, which can increase blood pressure. So if you have blood pressure related issues, don't perform this asana. At least pay attention to your body and practice caution. Now set your Sankalpa of manifesting through the womb of creation as you maintain the same sitting posture. And then exhale fully as you bring your little fingers beneath the bottom lip, ring fingers above the upper lip, middle fingers closing the nostrils, ring fingers over the eyes, and the thumbs closing the ears. The next asana is Virasana. Place one foot on the thigh and the other foot under the opposite thigh. Touch your thumb and index fingers together in Bindu Mudra. Place them on top of the knees as you embody the space and state of bravery. Vida. The next asana is Valmikasana. Now keep the left heel on the right side of the regenerative organs and the toes under the thigh with the right foot on top of the left with the toes by the knee. 
Keep your hands on the knees, thumbs and index fingers touching. Gaze to your third eye and visualize Sage Valmiki, the great poet, sage and author of Ramayana. The next asana is Joni Mudrasana. Now keep your legs in the same position. Switch your gaze to the nose as you visualize the Yoni Mandala, which is re representing Devi Parashakti and is a representation of the creative energy of the universe. Next up is Yoni Asana. Keep your feet and hands on in the same position as you switch your gaze to the third eye and keep visualizing the Yoni Mandala, which is projected on the screen. The next asana is Bhattarasana 3. As you sit and bring the soles of the feet together, holding them with both hands, Bring your knees down towards the ground, gazing to the tip of your nose, visualizing Lord Virata in your inner space as you perform Udhyana Vanda and Mula Vanda. The next asana is Aghora Asana. Now keep the soles of the feet together. Heels at the perineum. Press your tongue up against the roof of your mouth or even higher, if you can, into the nasal tract in Kechari Mudra. Gaze to your third eye. As you cover your mouth with the right hand, close the left nostril with the index finger. Inhale through the right nostril. Close both nostrils and then hold your breath. After you exhale through the left nostril, repeat on the other side. In Abhyantara Kumbhaka, as you gaze to your third eye, visualize yourself as a Naghori. Next up is Kanadi Pavasana. Bring the feet together in front with the toes together and the heels apart. Place your elbows onto the heels as you rest your chin on the palms. Gaze to the tip of your nose and engage Udhyana Bandha and Mula Bandha. As you perform Rechaka Kumbhaka, fully exhale and hold your breath in the exhaled state as you visualize yourself as a female elephant drinking water. Next up is Palasana. Now sit with the knees raised, arms between the thighs and calves, and interlace your fingers as you lift your feet off the mat. Gaze to the nose and visualize Swamiji in your inner space as you perform the Mula Vandha. The next asana is Gopichandasana. Now interlace your fingers around the feet with the soles together and place the toes at the groove of your throat, the heels on your chest. Tuck your chin onto the hands and gaze to the nose, embodying the state and space of a king as you perform the Mula Vandha. The next asana is Uddharasana. Now sit with the soles of the feet together. Insert your hands underneath the legs as you hold the feet with interlocked fingers. Bring your feet up to the chest. Bring your head down and touch the chin to the soles as you gaze at the tip of the nose and visualize your body free from any defects.
Next asana is Bishishtasana. From the same position, raise your feet up even higher. Bring your feet in front of your face with the interlocked fingers in front of your forehead. Visualize yourself excelling in everything as you perform the Mula Vandha. The next asana is Bujasana. From a seated position, lift both legs over top of the respective shoulders. As you bring your arms underneath the legs and up, interlacing your fingers around the back of your neck. Visualize yourself as a cobra as you perform the Mula Vandha. The next asana is Kalyanasana. Now maintain a seated posture, raise your legs up and bring your elbows under the knees as you wrap your arms around your back with the palms clasped behind. Gaze to the tip of your nose and visualize yourself as a beautiful, auspicious goddess. The next asana is Sankatasana. With the left knee on the mat, place the left foot flat on the ground and sit down on the left heel. As you bring the right leg over top of the left, heel close to the hip. Visualize yourself as a swan as you perform the Ujjayi Pranayama, making an ocean-like sound with your mouth as you perform the Mula Bandha. The next asana is Dhenukhasana. Now slide the hip heel outside of the hip. Visualize a cow in your inner space as you keep your hands on top of the knees. Perform Udhyana Vanda and Mula Vanda. The next asana is Machandrasana. Now place the right foot on the left thigh and the left foot on the right knee. Bring the left hand behind your back and hold onto the right thigh. As you place the right hand on the left thigh, twist your body and gaze to your third eye, visualizing Swamiji in your inner space and performing the Mula Vandha. <laughs> Next up is Machandrasana 2. From Machandrasana, untwist and hold onto the respective big toes in Prana Mudra. As you lean your forehead down so it touches the ground, as you place your chest down on the heels, visualize Swamiji in your inner space and perform the Mula Vandha. <laughs> Now interlace your fingers and place them on the top knee. Engage all three bandhas, Mahamudra Bandha. As you visualize Swamiji, your guru in your inner space in Guru Asana. Now again, sit down on the heel, this time on the right foot. As you keep the top of the foot on the ground, and interlace your fingers on top of the other knees, visualizing yourself as a swan. Now slide the heel outside the hip. Place both hands on top of the up, upper knee. As you visualize a cow in your inner space in Denukasana on the other side. Next up is Machandrasana on the other side. Bring the left foot on the right thigh and the right foot on the left knee. Twist your body. Keep one arm behind your back and hold on to the opposite thighs. As you gaze to the third eye and visualize Swamiji in your inner space.
next up is Machandrasana too. Now hold on to the feet as you lean forward and down, bringing your chest towards the heels and your forehead onto the ground. Visualize Swamiji in your inner space. Now place your hands interlaced on the top knee as you visualize Swamiji, your Guru, in Guru Asana, engaging all three wonders. The next asana is Pashasana. Now sit with the feet flat on the ground, knees against your chest, with the hands holding onto the opposite knees. Keep your thighs together, spine straight, the tongue pressed against the roof of your mouth and Kechari Mudra. As you gaze to your third eye and visualize Swamiji in your inner space. The next asana is Bodhashokasana. As you keep the feet flat on the mat, wrap your arms around the legs and hold onto the opposite wrists. Place your chin onto the knees as you gaze to the nose and visualize yourself being in an abode of bliss. The next asana is Kurakatasana. Maintain the same position, but place your arms under the knees and hold on to the opposite elbows. Gaze to your nose. Keep your tongue pressed up in Kechari Mudra, visualizing Swamiji in your inner space. Maintaining the same hold beneath the knees, bring the right foot over top of the left so the heels cross with the toes pointing up. Gaze to your nose and visualize the great sage and Maharishi Sumati in Sumati Asana. The next asana is Dandasana. Now extend your feet out straight with the arms raised straight above your head. Interlace the fingers with the wrists pointed towards with the wrists pointed outwards. As you engage all three wonders, gaze to the nose. Visualize Swamiji in your inner space. Perform Mahamudra Vanda. <laughs> The next asana is Arambhasana. Now sit with your legs straight, hold the big toes in Prana Mudra with index and middle fingers as you lean your chest forward and down, bring your head to the knees, inhale through the left nostril and exhale through the right, perform Nadi Shodhana as you visualize Swamiji in your inner space. The next asana is Pidokasana. Now sit with the legs straight, extend the knees slightly up, bring one hand distance between the heels. As you bring your shoulders down, wrap your hands in and around the legs. Hold the soles of the feet as you gaze to your third eye and visualize Swamiji in your inner space. The next asana is Jalandhari Pavasana. Now extend both legs out with the heels together. Place your chin on the heels as you insert your hands below the legs. Keep the elbows together on the ground along with your fingers, palms facing up. Gaze to the nose. Visualizing Swamiji in your inner space. The next asana is Urtva Paschimatanasana. As you sit with the legs extended, 
Lift one foot behind the neck. Lean forward and down as in Paschimottanasana. As you visualize Swamiji in your inner space, if you can't bring your leg behind your neck, focus on the prana flowing up from the Muladhara to the Brahmaranda, to the nine various points within the body, which are the soles of the feet, the regenerative organs, the navel, the heart, the throat, the uvula, the middle of the eyebrows, the forehead, and the brahmarandra, the crown of the head. Now engage the mulabandha as you perform Urdhva Paschimottanasana. Paschimottanasana vatsam siddhim gritva ekam badam grivayam dhritva dishthet. The next asana is Anantasana. Now lie on your back. Lift the right leg behind the neck. The left hand holds the foot from the top. As you straighten your body, concentrate on the prana moving from Muladhara to Brahmarandra. Gaze to the nose as you visualize yourself as, an, as infinite, endless or eternal. Ananta. Uttana Shani Ekegam Bhagi Grivajam Vinyasya The next asana is Ankushasana. From Anantasana, rest on the elbow of the hand holding the foot. Concentrate on the prana flowing up as you gaze to the nose and feel in complete control. The next asana is Trishasana. Lie down on the back as you bring your knees to the chest. Encircle your thighs and calves with your arms as you rock your body from side to side, visualizing Swamiji in your inner space. Now bring the other leg behind your neck. Repeat Urdhva Paschimottanasana on the other side again. If you can't bring your leg behind your neck, just pull it up as high as you can, and then lean forward. Hold on to the foot. Now, with the leg still behind your back, straighten your body, lay on your back, hold on to the foot with the opposite hand as you gaze at the nose and visualize yourself as being endless. Now roll onto your elbow and feel in complete control in Ankushasana. The next asana is Yoga Nitrasana. As you lie on your back, lift your legs one by one up behind your head. Hold your hands behind your back. As you gaze to the nose, visualize Swamiji in your inner space and focus on the upward flowing prana. The next asana is Atmada Masana. While laying on your back, raise your legs towards your head, wrap your hands around the legs and interlace your fingers behind your neck. Gaze at the nose as you visualize Lord Vishnu blessing you from within. The next asana is Kochikasana. As you lay on your back, Bring your knees to the chest with the soles facing up and extend your arms out sideways. Gaze to your third eye as you visualize Swamiji in your inner space.
Next up is the Jatara Paribhiti. This asana consists of three steps. We are going to perform all three steps and then repeat them on the other side. Let us first enter a neutral position, which is laying on your back with the knees to your chest and the arms reaching out to the sides at shoulder level. Now visualize Swamiji in your inner space, perform the Mula Bandha and focus on the upward flowing prana in Pratyahara Kumbhaka. As you perform the first step, which is bringing one knee to the side onto the ground while extending the other leg down. Now bring both knees bent to the side. Straighten both knees to the side, hold onto the feet and gaze in the opposite direction. Now come back to the neutral position, arms extended out to the sides and the knees pulled to your chest. As you drop the other knee towards the ground, extending the other leg down. Now bring both knees to the side and extend both knees to the side, gazing in the opposite direction. Next up is the Dvipada Pitam. As you lay on your back, bend your knees and place your feet flat on the ground. Hold onto your ankles and lift your hips up, gazing to the nose and visualizing yourself as sturdy as a bridge. As you start breathing in the Murcha Kumbhaka, as you keep the Jalandrabandha engaged while exhaling, force the air out through the throat lock gently. This will bring about a state of swooning in the yogi. Perform the Mula Bandha as you do so. Next up is Palyankasana. Laying on your back with the feet flat on the mat, bring your arms over your head and place your hands flat on the mat as well, with the fingers pointing towards your feet. Lift your entire body up off the ground as you visualize yourself as sturdy as stone furniture. Breathe through your nose in Sahaja Kumbhaka as you perform the Mula Bandha. The next asana is Shvottanasana. Lay on your back with the knees to your chest. With the hands on the respective shoulders, move your hips in a circular motion and visualize that you're a dog playfully laying on its back. Perform the Mula Bandha as you do so. Next up is the Viparita Karani. Lie supine, raise your hips and legs up. As you extend your hands down on the mat below, helping you balance your body as your legs are raised up. Move your legs in a circular motion as you visualize Swamiji in your inner space and keep Jalandarabandha and Mulabandha engaged. Next up is the Viparita Karani too. Now stop the movement of your legs. Keep them pointing up straight as you visualize Swamiji in your inner space. Next up is Langdalasana. As you lay on your back, lift your hips and take your feet over the head with the toes on the floor. Stretch your hands out on the ground behind your back. Clasp your palms, rest on your neck and shoulders as you visualize yourself as a plow. Breathe in Mocha Kumbhaka with Jalandravanda and Mulavanda engaged. The next asana is Sajita Paschimbatanasana. As you lie on your back in the same position, bring your hands to the feet. <coughs> Pull your thighs to the chest and hold on to the toes as you keep your arms and legs straight. 
This is one of the 84 different asanas revealed directly by Lord Paramashiva himself. Visualize Paramashiva as he performed Jalandra Vanda and Mula Vanda. Next up is Supta Kunasana. Maintaining the same position, bring your hip over top of the shoulder level and open your legs wide apart. Visualize Swamiji in your inner space. Perform Jalandra Vanda and Mula Vanda. The next asana is Chakrasana. Now bring your legs over top of your head. Toes on the ground. Hold onto the ankles of the feet and roll onto your back, keeping your legs straight. Visualize yourself as a chakra, a wheel, as you perform Jalandra Bandha and Mula Bandha. Next up is Supta Prasa Rita Parangustasana. As you lay on your back with the legs vertical, hold on to the big toes and prana mudra and then open your legs wide to the side. Visualize Swamiji in your inner space as you return to breathing in Ujjayi Pranayama, making an ocean like sound with your mouth. The next asana is Supta Padangusta asana. Now hold onto the big toes and join your feet together above your body, keeping your legs straight and your arms straight as well. Visualize Swamiji in your inner space and perform the Mula Bandha. The next asana is Matsyasana. From Sukta Padangustasana, move your legs into Padmasana and lay on your back, holding onto the opposite elbows over your head. Gaze to the nose and visualize Matsya, the fish avatar of Vishnu. Matsyasana. Mukta Padmasana Krutva Uttana Shayrancharete. The next asana is Padashara Masana. Laying on your back with the legs in Padmasana, place the backside of the right hand onto the left palm. Gaze to the nose and visualize Rama in your inner space as you perform the Mula Vandha. The next asana is Sarvangasana. While laying on your back, legs in Padmasana, lift your hips and legs up. Bring your hands to the hips, supporting you with the elbows on the floor. As you tuck your chin to the chest in Jalandra Bandha, contract the perineal region in Mula Bandha, gaze to the nose and visualize Swamiji in your inner space. <laughs> Next up is Vrishtikasana. As you lay on your back, one foot on the opposite thigh, lift the other knee towards your head, extend both arms up above your head and hook the fingers forward, gazing to your third eye and visualizing yourself as a scorpion. Now exchange the position of your feet Repeat Vrishikasana on the other side. The next asana is Vrishapadakshipasana. Now lay on your back and interlace your fingers around the neck as you lift both feet off the ground, extending one leg straight and the other knee pulled to the chest. Alternate, extending and raising the knee again and again, visualizing Swamiji in your inner space and breathing calmly through your nose in Sahaja Kumbhaka. 
ಉತ್ತಾನಸೇನಂ ಕೃತ್ವ ಅಂಗುಲಿಭಿ ಕಂದ್ರ ಅಂಬದ್ವಾ lay on your back and lift your legs one by one up touching the knees to your ears as you visualize swamiji in your inner space shottanavat samsthiti kritva jal dwayam paryagena karma yoho samsthishet next up is vrikhasana while laying on your back place the sole of the feet flat on the ground stand up and then sit back down visualizing yourself as a wolf adha uttana shayanam krutva badadala abhyam bhumim dritva the next asana is lutthasana lay on your back and quickly throw your legs up above your head completely roll over repeat this again and again visualizing swamiji in your inner space finish in a prone position uttana shayanam pado shira ullangya as you lay flat on your belly with the toes extended and the hands on the ground by your shoulders contract your lips and make the sound of a flute whistling while inhaling in sadadhasana pranayama visualize yourself as a chariot carrying warriors into a battle for dharma on your chariot back The next asana is Dehal Yulanganasana. Now push your body up into Talakshvasana, the plank position. As you jump your legs forward and back between the arms again and again. Visualize yourself, go beyond the body and mind. Hastadvayam badhva dhanmadhya jarnadvayam uddha naiva bahira nijya. The next asana is Jati Asana. From a standing position, bend forward and place your hands on the mat, walking back and forth as you visualize yourself as a wise sixty-year-old elephant. Atha Jati Asana Vakshe Yena Jati Smaro Bhavet. Next up is the Lori Tika Karana. stand with the knees bent feet pointing outwards and bend your elbows keep your hands at the chest level swiftly move your arms across your body and then bring them back to the center tilt your head back open up your chest towards the sky and move your head in all directions the next asana is sarvasana as you tie your feet with a rope stand erect like a rod keep your arms at the side of your body with the hands touching your thighs visualize that your kundalini devi is raising and curling upwards around your body as you breathe calmly through your nose in sahaja kumbhaka leading the prana along your spine contract the perineal region force the kundalini shakti up as you internally chant om nityananda paramashivoham adasarpasanam vakshe vajupana yagevalam the next asana is ushtrasadanasana while standing place all fingers on the mat and then stand on your hands keep your feet on the fists as you begin to move and walk like a camel visualize yourself as a camel as you walk around on the mat ushtikanishtika pradeshena bhumo nidhaya uparibhata dale samsthapya the next asana is ashvasana maintain the same position walk around on the hands as you visualize yourself as a horse मुष्टिगनिष्ठिका प्रदेशेन भूमो निधाजा द नेक्स्ट आसना इज कपोटा नितकासना एज यू स्टैंड स्ट्रेट विद द फीट टुगेदर इंटरलेस योर हैंड्स बिहाइंड योर बैक इन पदोशो मुद्रा होल्ड देम डाउन टुवर्ड्स योर कॉल्स एज यू ओपन अप योर चेस्ट वाइडली 
Visualize yourself as a soaring bird diving. Next up is the Tala Pushpa Putam Karana. Stand tall with the palms together in Namaskara Mudra as you gently bend your knees and keep the toes pointing outwards. Simultaneously open up the palms and raise one heel off the ground as you slightly lower the waist and shoulder of the respective heel, bowing to both sides. As you visualize, you're holding a bouquet of flowers and offering it to Paramashiva. Next asana is Kadgasana. As you lay down on your stomach, jump your feet up towards your hands and stand. As you bring the palms together, forming the horn of the rhinoceros in Namaskara Mudra, visualizing yourself as a rhinoceros and gaze to the nose. Nujasaratamasanam Gritva, Adatala Bhyam Bhumima Vashtabhya. Next up is the Uttanottanam. Hold onto weights if you want to intensify this asana. Now sit down all the way or as low as you can to the ground and stand back up. Do this again and again as you visualize Swamiji in your inner space. The next asana is Musalasana. Now stand up straight, raise your arms up over your head and jump repeatedly as you visualize yourself as a mace. Tarlam Sitwa Urdam Bahu Najete. The next asana is Uchesakasana. From a standing position, pull the sole of the foot towards your chest. While the other leg, with the other leg, sit down and stand back up. Alternate on both sides. As you gaze to the nose and visualize Swamiji in your inner space. <laughs> next up is the Parshva Janu Karana. Now stand and keep one leg slightly bent with the toes pointing to the side. Bend and lift the opposite knee towards your chest, pointing the toes for downwards. Keep your arms holding the knee with the hand in a fist as you place the other hand on top of the respective thigh with the fingers pointing inwards. The next asana is Tandavasana. You can hold weights to intensify this asana. Visualize yourself fiercely dancing as Lord Shiva as you stand on one leg with the opposite leg extended forward, lower your body down to the mat, and then stand back up straight. Again, about the Nastatavim Tandavasana Bhavati. The next asana is Brahmanasana. Now place one foot. Onto the opposite thigh as you stand erect on the mat like a rod. Keep your hands by the sides, visualizing yourself being blessed by Lord Brahma. The next asana is Garudasana 3. Stand tall and wrap the left leg over and around the, the right knee as you tuck the left toes on the other side of the right calf. Simultaneously cross the left arm below the right and bring the palms together in Namaskara Mudra in front of your heart as you visualize yourself as Lord Garuda. 
उत्तान कूर्म पीठम चुढ़ Now bring the leg to the other thigh. As you keep the hands hanging down by the sides towards the knees, visualize Swami Ji in your inner space. Dakshan Grima va badasya jango parindhaje cha. The next asana is Druvasana. Stand on the right leg and hold onto the big toes of the left foot. As you straighten the left leg out of the side, and visualize yourself as the North Pole star as you rotate on the standing leg. Again, I see another number of us. Hey, guys, you have to see Agram Dritva. The next asana is Trivikramasana. Stand on the right leg and lift the left foot behind your neck if you can. Then stand tall. Otherwise, you can pull the leg towards your chest. Then alternate standing and sitting. Perform the three steps of Vishnu as you visualize Lord Vishnu in your inner space. Again, about the inner state of Vyam, the state of Vyam. Now repeat the Parshva Janu Karana on the other side. Now visualize yourself fiercely dancing as Lord Shiva, as you repeat Tandavasana on the other side. Now repeat Brahmanasana on the other side. Brahmanasana ma vakshe yet kritva Brahmano bhavet. And repeat Garudasana three on the other side. Now bring your foot to the opposite hip with the hands hanging down as you repeat Ekapadasana on the other side. Dakshan Grimva Ma Badasya Jango Parini Dhaya Cha. Now hold onto the opposite foot, holding the big toe in Prana Mudra as you rotate your body on the mat. Visualizing yourself as the North Pole star in Druvasana. Again, haste na dhanda roba se ek se vada se agram dhritva. Now repeat Trivikramasana on the other side. Bring the other leg behind your neck if you can. Sit down and stand back up while visualizing Lord Vishnu blessing you from within. ग्रीवायम बादम समस्थाप्य स्थातव्य मुत्तादव्य त्रिविक्रमासनम् भवति नेक्स्ट अप इज द समाना का कारणा स्टैंड विद द फीट क्लोज टुगेदर टोस पॉइंटेड स्लाइडली आउट कीप बोथ हैंड्स टू द साइड्स ऑफ योर बॉडी एस यू स्टैंड स्ट्रेट ऑन द मैट एंड रिलैक्स After this intense asana practice, this intense sequence, breathe deeply as we enter into the final 100 asanas of the sequence. The next asana is a Gora Kajali asana. Stand erect and then bend forward. Bring both hands underneath the knees and make a finger lock in Padusha Mudra. As you sit in a squatting posture, And then let the finger lock touch your navel. Visualize Sage Gorakhnath, the founder of the Nata Yoga Hindu Sampradaya, as you perform the Jiva Chala Kumbhaka, forcefully moving the retained prana up and down within your body and throughout your limbs, along with the mind. Perform the Mula Bandha as you do so, and internally chant Om Nityananda Paramashivoham. Pratamhi uba hoye bahuri ni chobuni hove. The next asana is Kanchida asana. Now insert your hands between the thighs and calves, and then wrap them around behind your butt, interlacing your fingers behind your back. Keep your chest upright. Visualize Swamiji in your inner space. 
पूर्वध्यास्तव निवेशयानिदृत्वा The next asana is Bhairu asana. Now bring your feet together and sit in a squatting posture with the heels touching the perineum. Hold the hands at the back. In Parusha mudra, sit upright and gaze to your navel, visualizing Bhagavan Kala Bhairava the Lord of Time. Do wo bhagagi dhalya ki mahili ko milai. Next up is Varahasana. Now squat all the way down to the ground. Keep your feet together, toes apart. Bring your elbows up close to your head, and join your palms behind your back with fingers pointing down. Gaze to the nose and visualize a boar, which is one of the ten incarnations of Mahavishnu. Pagdali ke mahili kaur mila ye bhana pani ukad bhai se. The next asana is Pripitasana. With the heels touching, bring your hips to the same level as your knees. Let your hands hang down. Hold on to the big toes of Prana Mudra as you visualize Swamiji in your inner space and perform the Mula Bandha. Next up is Pakasana. Now place your hands on the mat, fingers wide, and place your knees. Onto the back of your arms, with the eyes forward, lean forward and down, lifting your feet off the ground, as you visualize yourself as a crow. Hasta bhya mavani mavas tabhya. The next asana is Sushtanga Kapali asana. Now kneel down, head on the ground, with the palms spread for support. Raise your body on your head, and place your legs into Padmasana. As you gaze to the nose and visualize Swamiji in your inner space. आसन को गुण का बाल आज हो The next asana is Gupta asana. Lower your body down onto the mat and sit in a kneeling position. Keep your toes touching behind and sit in between the heels. As you place your hands on the knees, sit straight and gaze to the nose. As you visualize, you are sitting in the secret seat with Paramashiva and Guru. Janur Vorantare Pada Gurtva Pada Uta Gopajete. The next asana is a Briksha asana too. This is another inverted posture. So if you have any blood pressure related issues, please take precautions. If you need aid in support performing this asana. If you have a partner available, they can aid you. Otherwise, you can use a wall for support. You can walk the wall up and down. This is a progression where you can increase your arm strength and finally be able to perform this asana yourself. Now, place your hands on the ground, shoulder width apart, and lift your body up straight into a handstand. Visualize your tree with deep roots into the ground as you breathe calmly in Sahaja Kumbhaka. Next up is Shibo Asana. Move your hands closer together and again enter the handstand posture. Visualize Tejas energy is flowing to your third eye. As you gaze up to your third eye, the Tejas energy will rejuvenate your body. दो बग जोड़ी माही गुल्फ मिलाए The next asana is Matsyasana too. Now visualize yourself as a fish as you enter a plank position. Lower your body down to the mat and push it back up again and again as you engage the Mula Bandha. 
निद्यम शयनम कूर्प कूर्परो पार्श्व भागायाम ऊर्धकृत्य नेक्स्ट अप सर्वासन टू लाइ प्रोन ऑन योर बेली विद द हैंड्स ऑन द हिप्स एंड लिफ्ट योर चेस्ट टू द लेफ्ट एंड राइट विजुअलाइजिंग एंड मूविंग योर बॉडी लाइक अ स्नेक निद्यम शयनम कृत्वा हस्तो नितंबम संस्थाप्य नेक्स्ट अप इस निरलंबनासन Lay prone on your belly with the hands in Padma Mudra, the Lotus Mudra, holding onto the chin. Keep the toes pointing backwards, feet together, as you feel self-supported and completely independent. Karabhyam Banga Jam Krutva Dishtet Purpara Yasudhi. The next asana is Chaturasana. As you lay on your stomach, place your hands flat on the mat in front. Straighten your arms and bend your knees. Bring the feet towards the upper back and lift your head and chest up, visualizing yourself as an umbrella protecting your guru from the sun rays. Ardhya sanavastitva hastadala bhyam bhumi mastabhya. The next asana is Vajrasana. Now sit on the knees, with the tops of the feet flat on the mat. Bring your butt onto the heels. Stretch your arms out in front and place the palms facing down as you bring your forehead to the mat. Gaze to the nose. Visualize yourself as Vajra, the weapon of Indra, symbolizing your indestructibility. Idani Mgarbini Nam Yoga Bhyaso Yadhalago. Next asana is Meshasana. Now place your hands flat on the ground, shoulder width apart. And raise your hips up high into Gajasana. Then alternate striking the ground with your hands as you experience yourself as powerful as a ram. Gajasana samsito ek ekamba hum bhumo tadagiyate. The next asana is Ajasana. From Gajasana position, lift your legs up into the air and slowly bring your forehead to the ground. Visualize yourself as unborn, existing for all eternity. Gajasana samstido badu doya mandarale gritya. The next asana is Dhanantarasana. As you sit on your heels with the legs together. Interlace your fingers around the toes, pull the feet towards your perineum, and then place your hands on the respective knees. Keep your spine straight, gaze to the nose, as you visualize Swamiji in your inner space, and return to breathing in Ujjayi Pranayama, making an ocean-like sound with your mouth. Pura Bhavidi Parihata Ki Kakasi Shyo Bhana Shara Modi. Next up is the Anga Motanam. Interlace your fingers in front of your body, and then behind you, stretching your arms forward to the sides and backwards, as you give massage to various different joints and muscles within your body. Visualize Swamiji as you do so. Hastayo ho angale badwa hastayo or madhya charva mangam nishka sa itwa. Next up is Garudasana form. Now sit on your heels in Vajrasana as you turn your feet out to the sides. Keep your thighs and knees resting on the ground. Keep your spine straight, hands on the knees. Visualize yourself as Lord Garuda, flying Lord Vishnu and Lakshmi on his back. Jangor Ubhyandhar Ambidya Sirakayo Dvijanu Nam. Next up is Ananda Mandirasana. Now sit with your legs folded back, the toes pointing backwards, the knees wide, with the hands below the ankles. Keep the front of your buttocks on the ground as you gaze to your third eye, and visualize yourself residing in the blissful space of a temple. Atha Bhakshya Vira Natha Ananda Mandirasana. Next up is Mandukasana too. Now sit with the knees wide, the feet overlapping on top of your ankles. 
Keep your hands underneath the knees, gaze to the nose, and visualize yourself as a frog as you perform Udhyana Vanda and Mula Vanda. Prashtam Sambhidya Gul Bhabhyam Janvangya Savala Yakriti Hi The next asana is not a simhasana. As you keep your toes on the mat with the heels up and together, place your perineum on top of the heels. Keep your palms on the ground with the fingers spread wide apart, thumbs touching the base of the hand touching the toes. Gaze to your nose, stick your tongue out and exhale forcefully. Visualize Narasimha, one of the ten avatars of Vishnu, as you perform the Mula Bandha. The next asana is Vishwakasana. Sit on the toes and place your perineum on the heels as you separate your knees and place them on the ground. Make a hollow of your palms and place it on your mouth. Keep your thumbs under the teeth and close your lips. Gaze to your nose. Inhale through the right nostril and exhale through your mouth as per your capacity. In Bishraka Pranayama, visualize yourself as Devi presiding over any and all minuscule fears you might have. The next asana is Makadasana. Now bring the soles together at the top of the feet on the ground. As you sit on the heels, bend your elbows, bring your fingers to the armpits, and imitate as if you were a monkey sketching itself. Visualize yourself as a playful monkey as you gaze to your third eye and perform the Mula Bandha. <laughs> The next asana is Vajrasangarasana. Stand on the toes with the soles of the feet together. Sit on the heels, keep your knees wide and off the floor. Hold your elbows behind your back as you gaze to the nose. Embody a diamond-like strength for yourself and your Sangha, your spiritual community. The next asana is Kanjanasana. Now keep the toes down, ankles crossed behind, and sit on the heels. Place your palms on the mat of the sides as you gaze to the nose and visualize perfect health beyond any and all physical or mental ailments. Kanjanasana ma vakshe The next asana is Kurmasana, the turtle posture. With your toes flat, cross your feet and place your perineum onto the back of the heels. Keep your knees wide and on the floor. Rest your hands on the knees. Gaze to the nose and visualize a turtle with a stable body and mind to live for hundreds of years. <laughs> The next asana is Yogasana. With the toes flat, cross your feet and place your perineum onto the back of the heels. Gaze to your nose and visualize Swamiji in your inner space. The next asana is Vijogasana. Now stand on your knees. Cross your ankles behind with the feet near the opposite knee. Hold the calves with the fingers inside and the thumbs outside as you gaze to your third eye and visualize a space of eternal oneness, Advaita, with your Guru. The next asana is Ushtrasana 2. In a kneeling position, bend backwards, hold your ankles with your hands and keep your arms straight. Push your hips forward and tilt your head back as you visualize yourself as a camel.
Next up is Jatyasana 2. With the heels together and the hands on the soles of the feet, slowly lean back. Bring the elbows down to the mat, followed by the back of your head. Gaze to the nose and experience yourself as a lotus blooming. Next up is Viratasana. Sit on the knees with the thighs and calves together. Lean back and touch the back, your back to the ground. Then rise back up. Do this again and again as you visualize the healing and liberation of all causal, causal subtle forms of your body. Gaze at the nose and perform the Mula Vandha. Next asana is Kapotasana. From Vidatasana, raise your hips higher. Bring your forearms to the mat and hold the back of the heels. As you bring your head in between the feet, visualize yourself as a beautiful dog and perform the Mula Vandha. The next asana is Vadasana. Now stand upright on the knees with the toes tucked. Hold your arms with opposite hands and gaze to the nose. This is the boon fulfilling posture. Receive your boon from Paramashiva. Next up is Vadahasana 2. Keep your knees together, toes tucked behind. Lean forward as you bring the elbows to the mat with the hands holding the head. Rest your buttocks on the heels and visualize yourself as Vadaha, the boar incarnation of Mahavishnu. The next asana is Mundasana. This is another inverted posture. Use a wall for support if needed. Now kneel down, place your elbows on the mat, shoulder width apart, interlace your fingers and place your head onto the mat, supporting it with both hands. Walk your feet forward until your hips align with the shoulders and then raise your legs straight up. Be stable. Gaze to the nose. Visualize yourself as a lop tree as you breathe calmly through your nose in Sahadra Kumbhaka in Mundasana. Next asana is Andhasana. In a kneeling position, place your head in between the knees and the elbows outside of the knees. Hold your head with both hands, gaze the nose and visualize Swamiji in your inner space as you breathe through your mouth and perform the Mula Vandha. The next asana is Viparita Shalabhasana. You can hold weights to intensify this asana. As you lie on your belly with the arms extended straight out, lift your thighs, arms and chest off the ground. Visualize yourself as a locust and perform the Mula Bandha. The next asana is Kapalasana. Lie on your belly with the arms at the side, palms facing down. Keep your forehead on the ground and keep your chest on the mat as you lift your legs up together. Visualize yourself as a skull. Representing the mind with purified thoughts and the strong will to attain enlightenment. The next asana is Akasha Kapotasana. As you lay on your stomach, keep your hands by the sides and lift your legs up over your head. As you slowly place your feet on the mat in front of your head, Get the palms flat on the mat behind, visualizing yourself as a free and open dove as you breathe in Sahaja Kumbhaka and perform the Mula Bandha. 
उष्ट्रासने स्थित चरण भूमेरुत्थाप्य The next asana is Chattakasana. As you sit on your knees, bring the chest down so the navel touches the knees and keep your hands and elbows flat on the ground. Be sturdy. Visualize yourself as a sparrow as you perform the Mula Bandha. The next asana is a Vrishchikasana too. Now kneel down, keep your hands and elbows on the mat. As you raise your legs, bend your back to touch the feet onto your head. Lift your chin and hold as you visualize yourself as a scorpion. Now place the perineum down on the right heel as you keep the left foot outside of the hip with the toes pointing outwards. Now visualize yourself as a bull as you start breathing in the Antaranga Kakumbaka, forcefully inhaling through your nose, holding the breath for a short while and then exhaling slowly. <laughs> The next asana is Lulasana. From the kneeling position, place your hands flat on the mat in front. Lift your knees off the ground and cross the toes over the left. The, the left toes over the right. As you balance above the mat and visualize Swamiji in your inner space. Now directly place the perineum down on the other heel. As you repeat, Vrishasana on the other side. Next up is Palagunasana. Now place the left toes on the ground and sit on the heel of the left foot. Place the right foot flat on the ground with the knee yeah. raised in the chest. Keep your palms on the respective knees as you maintain an upright position. Visualize. Palagunahai, one of the 84 siddhas in your inner space. Next up is Krahasana. Squat with the feet flat on the mat. As you bring your elbows under the thighs, wrap your hands around the shins and hold on to your ankles from the outside. Visualize yourself as the entire planet. Next up is Balagunasana on the other side. Visualize Balagunahai, one of the 84 siddhas in your inner space. Next up is Utkatasana. You can use weights to intensify this asana. As you squat on your toes with the heels up, the knees off the mat, place your perineum onto the heels and your hands on the respective knees. Keep your spine up dry, upright, visualize Swamiji in your inner space and perform the Mula Bandha. Next up is Vajra Sangharasana 2. Now sit on the toes with the perineum on the heels, the soles of the feet together. Keep the knees wide and off the ground as you hold the opposite elbows behind your back. Gaze forward as you visualize Swamiji in your inner space. The next asana is Anilasana. Now squat or sit with the feet hip width apart, with the hands under the soles of the feet from the inside. Palms facing down. Keep your arms straight, elbows at the navel and gaze to the nose. As you visualize, you are able to consume and live off of air alone. 
दो हाथ भूमि परिठाने कहनी जाड़ी ना भी लगाने नेक्स्ट आप इस फारुक हासना Now place the back of your hands on the mat with the fingers facing towards your body. Step the feet on top of the hands with your hands wrapped around the feet like a shoe. Start walking around on your mat as you visualize you're wearing padukas walking across India. Hastadalayo ho padadale krutva Next up is Kukkutudanasana. Now place your palms on the mat, raise both feet upwards into the air and let them fall back down. Do this again and again as you visualize yourself as a rooster. Hastadale bhumo krutva padadale chaurtha muddanam krutva. Next up is Viparita Nirjasana. Now place your hands on the mat and raise your legs upwards into a handstand. As you move around on two hands dancing, feel yourself become free of all inhibitions. हस्तलाभ्याम भूमि वस्तभ्याम Next up is Kundrasana. Now separate your feet and place one palm down on the mat with the arm straight. Bring the opposite arm towards your head. Be stable. Visualize Swami in your inner space. Breathe calmly in Sahadra Kumbhaka and perform the Mula Bandha. Now exchange the position of your hands. Repeat Kunjarasana on the other side. Next asana is Kalambasana. Sit on the ground with your feet flat and the heels close to your body. Hold the respective ankles with your hands as you lift your feet off the ground and visualize yourself. As a kadamba tree, a pious tree that promotes a long life. Next up is Bhavana Muktasana. Now sit with the heels at the perineum, hold the knees with your hands and press them towards your chest. Visualize any excess water being released or balanced within your system as you perform the Mula Bandha. The next asana is Chakodasana. Now sit and lift one leg behind your head as you place both hands flat on the mat. Extend the opposite leg up with a knee straight as you lift your entire body up off the ground. Keep your chin up, gaze to your third eye, and visualize yourself as a powerful source of energy. The next asana is Dhanurasana too. As you sit on the ground, hold the respective big toes in Prana Mudra. As you keep one leg straight and pull the other foot towards your ear, visualizing yourself as a ball. The next asana is Ashtavakrasana. Now lift the left leg over top of the left shoulder and bring the right foot across. Hook it over the left foot. Lean forward and down while extending the legs out to the side. Lift up your head and chest. Find balance and visualize yourself as a flying crane. The next asana is Pranasana. Now place the right foot on the left thigh and bring the left foot flat on the ground as you have the left shoulder underneath the raised left leg 
and place your hands flat on the ground. Press the right knee down with the right hand as you gaze to your third eye and visualize you are immortal and able to exist solely from prana. Etat prabhedam vakshami karoti yasa chamaraha. Next up is Parshva Matsyantrasana. Now keep one leg bent on the ground with a foot at the opposite hip and bring the other leg over top as you twist your body around the raised knee and interlace your hands below the raised knee. Gaze through your third eye and visualize the great sage and yogi Matsyantrasana, the master of Hatha Yoga. Now repeat Chakodasana on the other side. Now sit and lift the other leg behind your neck, keeping your hands at the side and raising your whole body up with the other leg extended, gazing to your third eye and visualizing yourself as a powerful source of energy. Now repeat Dhanodasana 2 on the other side, holding the big toes of both feet in Prana Mudra as you pull the opposite foot towards your ear, visualizing yourself as a bow. Now repeat Ashtavakrasana on the other side. Now lift the right leg over top of the right shoulder, cross the left foot over the right, and extend the legs out to the side, balancing as you visualize yourself as a flying crane. Now repeat Pranasana on the other side. Bring the other foot over top, shoulder underneath, push the knee down and place the other one on the ground as you visualize yourself being immortal and able to exist solely from Prana. Now repeat Parashvamatsendrasana on the other side. Bringing one heel to the opposite hip, the other leg over top of the knee as you twist your body around and bring your hands underneath and interlace the fingers behind your back, twisting your body even further, gazing up to your third eye and visualizing Matsyendanat. Next up is Arata Paschimottanasana. As you keep one leg straight, and press the perineum with one heel. Lean your chest forward and down. Hold onto the front foot and bring your head towards the knee. Visualize Swamiji in your inner space. Next up is Crown Shasana. Now place your left ankle outside of the hip, hold the sole of the right foot and lift the leg up towards your forehead. Keep the knees straight, visualize yourself as a crane as you engage the Mula Bandha. Now repeat Arta Paschimottanasana on the other side. Keeping the opposite heel against the perineum, leaning forward and down. Perform the Jiva Chalakumbaka, moving the prana up and down within your body. Now repeat Crown Chasana on the other side. As you bring the other heel outside of the hip, extend the opposite leg up, holding the foot with the knee straight, visualizing yourself as a crane. Next asana is swastikasana. Now sit with the soles between the thighs and calves. Keep your spine straight, the palms resting on the knees. Gaze to the tip of the nose and embody peace, well-being, good fortune and prosperity as you visualize a swastika. Next up is Gorakshasana. As you keep your feet in the same position, cover your heels with the respective hands. Tuck your chin to the chest and gaze at the tip of your nose, visualizing the great sage Godaknath, 
as you perform Jalantra Vanda and Mula Vanda. Next up is Pakasana 2. Now bring the left heel to the perineum and the right foot on the left thigh. Visualize Swamiji in your inner space. Meditate on Arihanta, the enlightened one. As you gaze to your third eye, perform the Mula Bandha and re enter the Shanmukhi Mudra once more. As you exhale, close your eyes with the index fingers, nose with the middle fingers, mouth with ring and little fingers, the ears with your thumbs. Vama Parsha Gudavsam Stapya Dakshangri Vama Daganem. Next up is Yogasana 2. As you keep your feet on top of the opposite knees, place your hands on the ground beside your body with the palms facing up. Keep your spine straight, gaze to your nose as you visualize Swamiji in your inner space. Start breathing in Kaka Chantra Kumbhaka, rolling up the tongue and keeping your mouth in the shape of the beak of a crow. As you inhale through the rolled up tongue, cooling down your body. Next up is Ultva Kukutasana. Now rotate your hands next to your body and push your body off the mat, visualizing yourself as a rooster. Next up is Siddha Haratali Asana from Padmasana. Insert both hands through the knees and place them on the mat. Avoid lifting your body up. Stay seated in this position as you gaze to the nose and visualize Swamiji in your inner space. Next up is Hamsasana from Padmasana. Lift your body off the ground as you gaze to your third eye and visualize yourself as an elegant swan. Next up is Karmukasana from Padmasana. Place your hands between the thighs and calves. Lean forward and while sitting, reach your hands behind your body in Parasha Mudra. As you bring your forehead to the floor, gaze to the nose, visualize yourself as Lord Shiva's bow. The next asana is Kurmasana too. Sitting in Padmasana, lift your knees and insert both hands through the thighs and calves. As you bend your elbows and hold onto the restrictive shoulders with your hands, visualize yourself as a turtle, having a stable body and mind to live for hundreds of years. The next asana is Granthi Bedasana. From Padmasana, insert both hands through the thighs and calves. Bend your elbows, hold the respective shoulders, tuck your chin to the chest, gaze at the nose and rejoice, knowing you're in Shiva's secret knot posture. The next asana is Uttana Kurmasana. From Padmasana, insert both hands through the thighs and calves. As you roll onto your back, hold onto the respective shoulders with your hands and gaze to the nose, embodying a turtle laying on its back. <laughs> Next up is Panguku Kutasana. From Padmasana, place both hands through the gap of the thighs and calves. Place one hand flat on the mat and hold its wrist with the other hand. 
Lift your body up off the mat, balancing on one arm as you visualize yourself as a rooster and perform the Mula Bandha. Now exchange the position of your hands. Lift your body up onto the other hand as you repeat Pango Kukutasana on the other side. The next asana is Gridrasana. From Padmasana, place your elbows on the toes, interlace your fingers and rest your chin on the knuckles. Keep your thumbs pressed to the throat as you visualize you have gone beyond all greed and covetous. Next up is Padmasana 3. From Padmasana, hold one hand over the other with the palms facing upwards. Keep your spine straight, gaze to the nose and visualize Swamiji in your inner space as you perform Mahamudra Bandha. All three bandhas engage. Next up is Padmasana 4. From Padmasana, place your palms on top of the knees. Keep your spine straight, gaze to the nose, engage the Mula Bandha and visualize Paramashiva in your inner space. Next up is Karmakasana 2. From Padmasana, keep the left hand on the left knee and hook the right hand around the big toes in Prana Mudra with index and middle fingers. As you pull your elbow back as if you're pulling a bowstring, moving the big toe in a circular motion. Visualize yourself as Pinaka, Lord Shiva's bow, as you repeat the movement on the other side as well. Next up is Karmakasana 3. From Padmasana, cross your arms behind your back and hold onto the big toes in Prana Mudra. As you gaze to the nose and visualize yourself as Paramashiva's bow. Next up is Dridhasana. Now maintain Kanamukasana 3. Lift your chest up and gaze to your third eye, visualizing that you are the action of Paramashiva's third eye, destroying anything you come across. Next up is Nagadasana. From Karmakasana 3, with your arms behind your back, roll onto your back. Hold on to the big toes if you can. Otherwise, lay on your arms in Padmasana as you gaze to the nose and visualize yourself as a snake. Next up is Kandukasana. As you lie on your back, bend your knees with the feet off the ground. Embrace your knees to the chest. With the head touching the knees, roll your body up into a ball. As you breathe in Sahadra Kumbhaka. Next up is Urtva Bhavanasana. Lay on your back with the knees raised together, feet flat on the ground. Interlace your fingers behind your neck as you gaze to the nose and visualize Swamiji in your inner space. Next up is Marakata Pitasana. Lie on your back and bend your knees as you keep your feet flat on the mat and place the upturned palms underneath your heels. Lift your hips up as you visualize yourself as a powerful alpha ape. Perform the Murcha Kumbhaka with Chalandra Banda and Mula Banda engaged. Next up is Uttana Shiki Pitakasana. Lie supine and raise your hips up. Support your hips with your hands. Place at the waist as your elbows bear the weight of your body. 
Press your chin to the th through the throat, gaze to the nose, and visualize Swamiji in your inner space. Next up is another kasana. As you lie supine, raise your hips and legs up. Bring your hands to the lower back for support if needed, but then place your elbows and hands flat on the mat below. Balance. As you visualize traversing Naraka, hell unscathed. Next up is Tiriya Naukasana. From Narakasana, bring your hands to the lower back and keep your elbows on the mat. Raise your legs up vertically and slowly lower and angle them down, keeping your core engaged. Visualize your abode crossing the ocean of samsara. The next asana is Dajasana. Now bring your arms back flat on the mat. Keep your legs straight as a flagpole. As you visualize yourself as the Kalasa flag, respected across all nations. Now gently lower your body down to the mat as you lie supine. Contract the perineal region and pull the Kundalini Shakti up your spine, performing the Shakti Chalan Mudra. Bring it up to the Brahmaranda. As you completely relax, unclutch from any micro-movements of your body and mind, visualize your body as dead, and the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Swamiji, is liberating you. As you internally chant the Japa, Om Nityananda Paramashivoham. Uttanam Shavavadhubhau Shayanam Toshavasanam Shavasanam Shramaharam Chitta Vishranti Karanam Now slowly return to your physical body. Start wiggling your fingers and toes, your wrists and your ankles, your elbows and your knees. Raise your knees up towards your chest and circle them with your hands, rocking your body from side to side. As you slowly return to a comfortable seated position, Congratulations for completing the Dvitiya Vinyasa Krama. 
308 asana sequence as revealed by the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism. Next up is going to be the power manifestation session. Stay tuned. Performing the power manifestation directly after Nityananda Yoga is going to be more successful because now you awaken the Kundalini Shakti within your body and you are in this high state of consciousness. So you should stay tuned and perform the powers along with our Acharya. With this, let us conclude the Nityananda Yoga session. As you sit straight with your head, neck, and spine in a straight line, place your hands in Anjali Mudra in front of your heart center. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, visualize Swamiji, and chant the Purna Mantra. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purname Vavashishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Tatsat Sarvam Bhagavat Sri Nityananda Paramashiva Padukar Panamastom Om Nityanandam Thank you all for joining Nityanandam. Sit as Paramashiva. Inhale and exhale deeply with 25 heads and 75 eyes and 50 hands. Visualize, meditate, connect with him. He is a living, alive being. Drop your form into his form and dissolve. Remember, you are a Sarupya Mukta, means your form is dissolved into his form. All my disciples, now I am initiating Salokya Mukti, Samipya Mukti, Sarupya Mukti, Sayujya Mukti. Om Nityananda Paramashivoham Shivoham Om Nityananda Paramashivoham Om Nityananda Paramashivoham Om Nityananda Paramashivoham Thank you.